In this video, I want to explain the process to orient the model at the required axis rotation and secondly, to move the geometry at the required location for the origin. So we discuss both things in this same video and before that, I will discuss about the, our incomplete workshop series on Naka 0012. If you remember, we were achieving the solution in Fluent on uh, this Naka 0012 and uh, the geometry was 3d and we started from the space claim the... we started from the space claim and uh, we created the points uh, from points we created the arrow file and th then 3d geometry then the meshing in the icm cfd and then solution in the fluid and we also find out the bound definitions from the our calculator including the y plus values and also we found out the solution in this video about the how to tackle the problem in a coupled solver with a parallel solver. So one solution was that either you can go with the Fluent 2019 release 3 or you can partition the mesh in a different way. That was the solution. So I will continue this series in the and I will process, process the results and compare them with the external data. So stay tuned. But before that, in this video, I will discuss about the things I describe in the very beginning of this uh, video. The first thing is that I want to orient the, the rotation axis in the Z direction. And uh, on the second plane, I would be placing the X and Y axis. So for that, first we use a move command and uh, select all geometries, including the geometry we surprised for the physics because I just want the, in this case, the inner domain and second geometry and second space plane file. I would be getting the outer domain. Okay, so to orient this geometry in Z direction, we should move the geometry along the X axis. So I will move this red arrow by 90 degrees and enter. So now you can see that our geometry is placed in the Z direction, the rotation axis. So let me let me show you this all. This is the geometry and uh, from the inner side Okay, so from inner side these are the blades for the this uh, tank mixing tank and I want that uh, this extra rotation is that axis which we, we have already done and second thing I want here is that uh, on the bottom side this tank this should be the origin point place on over here. So for that, first I select this face here and uh, then click on the plan view and then the sketch mode and then I will just place the one point here on the this origin point. So on 0, 0 location, I would be putting this point here and then go back to the 3D mode and uh, then after that, I'm going to place the a special origin this uh, origin system xyz on this point why you will see this so place this uh, origin on this point which we created from the sketch all right and now display all geometrical parts because if we move the one part so although they are suppressed here but when you want to have these parts again for some operations let's say maybe we need them so they will be placed under some other location with the other origin or maybe axis. So whenever you move any geometry, whether they are active for the physics or they are suppressed, move them in a one go. Okay, so after doing this thing, I will click on the move. And now this is the technique. So you should be very much careful and listen to me carefully this technique. So just click on this triad and not just only click, but click and then hold your left mouse button and move this uh, triad on the this uh, origin we created in the previous step okay so this now this this is the basically this this was the moving anchor so from this anchor we can move the geometry so if i place this anchor over here the rotation would be around this uh, origin this 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 system so where we place this system the the motivation will be along that direction 
rotation in as well as the translation. So for trans for the rotation, we have these three arrows, these three uh, curve arrows. But for for the translation, we can either use these straight arrows or this stride. If you right click here, we get this x y z coordinates. Okay. So here I put the x is already zero. So I put the x y is zero, and I also I want that this uh, should be on the also on the z as is equal to zero. So the first thing we achieve is that that x y is zero. So now the axis of rotation will pass through exactly from center point of the this geometry. And second, that, second is that I want that the, this should be placed on the in the positive coordinate. So this coordinate will be in the this geometry will be in positive coordinates. So z also is equal to zero. After doing this thing, after entering the these coordinates, then press enter key. Okay, so this geometry is over here. Now, if you right click here and uh, see that we have the origin is placed at zero zero zero, and now you can delete this uh, origin we created on this point because we this has this has served the point purpose, and this way. We have this geometry on the zero zero zero, and the axial rotation is passing through the z axis.